So you know, we, we've been talking about this whole Jeff Okuda, Steve Smith, uh, Detroit Lions situation. Lions getting ready to square off with the Green Bay Packers. Monday night football. Uh, Green Bay up against it, which I know is crazy to say, but they're 0-1. If they lose, they're 0-2, and they got to go out to San Francisco the following week. The, the energy I, level in that locker room is hitting different, I bet. Well, I don't – I think it's just – I'm still in shock of what I saw from Green Bay out of the gate. Now, a lot of things, whether offseason, this, that, I don't believe self-sabotage. I just believe that Hawaii and maybe the lack of preparation, that the Packers just didn't look like the Packers. Um, They didn't. Right? I mean, it was something which I didn't. Wow, I was out of any game this weekend. That blew my mind is just like where did I think teams would be or what would happen? Like I legitimately I don't I don't expect the Lions to go into Green Bay and win. But there's something saying that there's a we're saying there's a chance, a little bit more of a chance, and especially at ten points or eleven points, whatever it is. Yeah. I mean like I would what we saw last yeah. week, it ain't going to be the same. I'm sure Aaron Rodgers will bounce back and probably shut us all up. But, I mean, there's something definitely wrong in Green Bay. There's leaking oil real quick. Yeah, so, you know what it is. Are we jumping the gun on that, Joy? No, we're not jumping the gun. I'm gonna tell why you, not? This, you tell this, me why. This is the upside. This is the upside right here. While we can go in there and we can put up a good fight, it's because we're going into this game coming off something positive, um, leaving the last game. While in that game, they're coming off something. They played bad the whole game, and they, they didn't finish hard at all. They actually pulled Aaron Rodgers out and put in, put in love. Let him, you know, go get some reps real quick. Because, you know, we, we don't have a chance to win this game. Go get some reps. We had an opportunity to come back and fight. Uh, and so the thing is, if we can go out there, we can hop out in front. From what we've seen so far, the Packers have, they have no fight once they get down. And the thing is, and they, they don't have a running game. All right? They don't have a running game. They didn't pass well. Um, they passed for 186 yards. I mean, they outpassed the Saints um, as far as yardage, but at the end of the day, you know, it's they only wrestled 43 yards. Can I please on our socials who drafted Aaron Rodgers as their quarterback? And like, who is just their fantasy team? Just like they're just so. <laughs> I heard a story last night um, that I was laughing so hard that somebody had like Aaron Rodgers had Tanya and had Jones had Devonte Adams on their team or whatever like that and had like yeah. ten points in the whole like yeah. something misnomer. But to your point, Jordan, let me ask you this: How does it play in the locker room for the Lions preparing for this week against Green Bay? having played a top team in the 49ers and now coming off of, like you said, the positive or how it ended, even though I'm more in the Neil boat, I saw 38 to 10. But the fact is that now, is this week, are these guys jacked up? Like, they're, because they're, I think if I, it was me, I'd be thinking that we got a chance Monday. You know what? I'm going to say jacked up. You, when you're playing this, um, this game um, in this league, all the way until game day, you know, even through game day, you kind of want to stay here with it. You want to stay here through the week with it. You don't want to get too high. You don't want to get too low. You want to just kind of stay here, all right? We have a job to do. I'm coming in Monday after that loss. We're coming in Monday. We're watching film, um, and then we're going out there on the field, and we're walking through every mistake we made in that in, in that particular game. We're not going to go over the good plays. We're going to go over all the bad plays we made throughout the game, all right? We're going to go over the good plays that we did during the meeting earlier in the day, all right? Go in there, um, do your post-practice, your post-rehab, um, and, and get your body back uh, to where we need it for this upcoming week. And then come in on Wednesday with the team. This is what we're doing against Green Bay. Uh, here's their depth chart. Here's their players. We're going through each player. Um, this is their this is their strength. Um, this is their defensive strength. This is what we're gonna. This is what we're gonna attack. And this is what we're doing on Friday. I mean on Wednesday. Uh, coming in on Wednesday, and then we go from there. Build up the game plan from there. And I remember I walked in an um, office with the coach, and he was sitting there watching film. I said, Coach, now when you guys watch film, what are you guys looking for? He said, I'm looking for any weakness. And so he's in this office about, you know, 17 to 18 hours a day on the day that we don't have to come in. And he's just watching film, trying to find weaknesses in um, a team defense, a team offense, and they're trying to figure out how they can attack that. And so um, that's what I'm doing going in on, uh, coming in on, on Monday um, and then on Wednesday, that's what I'm doing today. But, Neil, my question to you, um, does Aaron Rodgers go to the press conference this week with his relaxed shirt on? Because having the 
the Packers have been here in sort of this oh, spot before. Oh, abso- absolutely. So, I mean, like, are we jumping the gun? I mean, but I feel if you, like does are. it not feel different, though, than before? It was this sort yeah. of, it feels, it doesn't well, feel the beca- same. Because of what happened, right? Because yeah. of what happened in the offseason, because he was doing yoga under a waterfall in Hawaii all summer long, because he's got the long hair and the man bun, uh, because he's doing the Jeopardy stuff. So people think that, that he's checked out. But I, I, if they lose, I'm telling you guys this. I, I have no concern for for the Packers and for Aaron Rodgers. If anyone in the NFL is entitled to what happened on Sunday to him, it's Aaron Rodgers. I mean, if anybody's got to get out of jail free card, it's Aaron Rodgers. That's a reigning MVP. Now, granted, that was statistically the worst performance in Week One by a reigning MVP that's ever happened. Did anyone see the the coverage of Pat McAfee talking to Aaron Pat McAfee? Sorry. Yeah, I always say his name wrong. I, my apologies. I don't mean to insult your friend. Pat um, McAfee. Did, did anyone else see the coverage, though, the interview that they had? Because he just seemed like, that eh, happens. So as NFC North, you know, uh, people, like, do we take that as, like, oh, it's just, it's a one-off, he'll get better? Because I, I do or, think it's a one-off. Because they that, that game was, I think it was 14-3 to in the second quarter. Packers are driving. They were inside the 10. Uh, I can't remember if the pass got deflected or not. Saints got an interception, went back, you know, went back on the other side of the Packers territory. Saints punch it in, and boom, it's 21-3. And then the horses got out of the barn. I mean, it happens, man. And games happen in a vacuum. The, the NFL, like baseball, like, like hockey, like any sport, games are in a vacuum. The events happen in that game, and then it's over. I know that people talk about momentum and stuff like that. Yeah. You can't. I have a hard time buying momentum when you're playing another game eight days later. You know, like I just, I just do. And and the Packers, they gotta have it. Now, if they if they lose, and D Mac, you weren't here for this, so I'll, I'll reset it for everyone. I reset it for Joyke yesterday when Terry Foster was in here with me. He brought up the point, and I'm excited because I'm in, and you guys know where I am. I'm about draft and draft capital and rookie contracts and stuff like that. Things can the, be true. The, the second that I know, it's not what we think. The, it's what yeah. we know. <laughs> the second that I know you can't make the playoffs, then you're better served by a higher draft pick. I mean, there's not a person in the world, not a math analyst in the world, that would say, "No, Neil, you're wrong." But anyway, with all that being said, I'm free rolling on Monday. Like I'm all in because we have a chance to destroy the man that did so many bad things to my friend to the right here, that did so many bad things to me as a Lions ticket holder, that did so many bad things to everyone in this city. We have a chance to drive a stake into the heart of the Packers franchise and be dead and gone as far as competing for Super Bowl championship goes for at least the next five to seven years. And I'm here for it, man. Because if they lose to the Lions, they are not going to San Francisco oh, and winning. My boy is lathered up. I'm excited. Yeah, I am. See, you, we, have the the dag- we have the dagger, GMAC, but and we can drive it into the heart. You know, but here's the thing, right? You're, we're almost like and we're not the big monster in the fight, but we're the little guy with a knife, right? And we're gonna, and no matter what, it feels like we're, we can make a wound to the Packers to make it hurt. Absolutely. Like this could be something right that now. has centrifugal effect to the organization, right? Like that's how big, that's how big it could be. Now it's, it's, not something that it's the end of the world because if they do lose their 0 and 2, I know they lost to the Lions and probably it, it helps us, but it's it's do we see them in disarray even if they do win? Is this the beginning of the end where Rogers like people are saying, people in the media are saying, Oh, he's self sabotaging it. I don't believe that. He's a professional. I believe more Two, you have to go to his history. The fact that yeah. this could be a one, one off, one and done. They get back at it. But Neil, to your point, this brings an excitement I didn't have for the Monday night game. That you know what, it's not as much David as Goliath. But we, you know what, we're going to be in a fight. We we may get smacked three or four times, but we're going to smack back two or three. And yeah. I think being a Lions fan, the fact we know the effort's going to be there. We saw it. We can build on that. And hopefully come out and not get ourselves into the deficit that we had this before. This is this is where I, this is where I'm at with it. I don't see Aaron Rodgers consistently doing you know one for ten on third down. A- absolutely, I don't, Joy. I, don't I know in my him, heart how it's going right, to play out. I, I don't see them having three turnovers and losing the turnover ratio three to zero in the game because when you learn when you lose that turnover ratio. I mean, the highest. I mean, you're not going to really win. You're not winning. Period. You know, statistically, you're not. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, Green, I mean, not Green Bay, but, you know, Tampa Bay did it. I mean, they lost the turnover ratio by three. They still won. Right. You know, but, you know, everyone's not Tom Brady. So I'm not going to put him on the pedestal with Tom Brady, even though he, you know, we can argue that. But I, I don't think we can argue that. But, no, I mean, I don't, as the season goes on, you're going to see Aaron Rodgers kind of pick his team out of this um, this hole that they've dug, right? And they, and they lost one game, okay. Um, but this offseason for Aaron Rodgers has been very different from previous offseasons. He hasn't been with the team all year, you know. He's been going through it with um, the front office, you know, the coaching staff. And so coming back in, it's going to be it's going to be bumpy at first, but he'll pull it together because he's a true professional. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens because no matter how much I might dislike Green Bay, I have a lot of respect for oh, I, I do Aaron, too. I, I have yeah, I have a I lot of too. respect for what Aaron Rodgers has done um, and what he's going to continue to do um, going forward in his career. And so I. The game that we saw this week, I don't see him doing that continuously throughout the rest of the season. For all of you no. that have missed it later on in the replay, we will cut in uh, Neil Herbie Brooks' rules, uh, Miracle on Ice speech for all you Mike G said. We need a replay of him pumping us up. So we'll have that cut for you guys <laughs> later. But uh, you know what? Mikey G, you and I on the same page, buddy, because lions are like a bunch of little coach knives. But if Dan Campbell wants to hashtag.